Welcome to this talk about the Apache Bing community. So we are going to see what resources are available in the Apache Bing website and in other places to get integrated into the community, to learn more about, about Apache Bing, to contribute to Apache Bing. So the first um, resource that we can use is the, the website itself. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to open the website. So we are going to go a little bit around the website. This may look like a little bit silly. Let me just put a little bit more soon so you can uh, read it. But it's actually very important. I go to the Bing website every day when I'm working with, um, with Apache Bing pipelines. In my opinion, the main resource that you have is here, the programming guide. So you see here at the top, you, you have like different sections in documentation in general. Here you have the Beam programming guide. This is a must read for anyone writing uh, Apache Beam pipelines. The, um, the programming guide has example, examples in Java, in Python, in Go and SDK, for instance, here and, and switching to Python. Um, if I have to, I don't know, know about the schemas, I will see, for instance, here some examples of how to use schemas in uh, in python um, so the the, the uh, full programming guide is strongly recommended to to read um, it's a must read in if you're working with apache Bean. another of my favorite sections in 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 the apache Bean website if i can go to the top again is the blog so on the blog here so in the blog you normally get news uh, about when a new release is done but there are every once in a while there are um, very interesting articles about how bin is used in different scenarios for instance about um, how to to use it uh, to as um, the engine for a content discovery platform using generative ai so there's a, a very recent article about this super interesting and I strongly recommend you uh, to, to be subscribed to the blog and, and, um, and to have a look uh, whenever there are new, new articles. And we will see later on how to contribute to Apache Bean that you can also contribute your uh, writings to, to the blog. It's just another pull request that you could do um, uh, to the repository. So let's have a look at the community resources. This is important if you are searching for help. So what community resources uh, do we have? Um, so, um, well, so the, the contribution pathway, we will review it later. So here in the list of channels, so the, the most important are the, the mailing list, uh, the user and the developer mailing list. Um, I recommend you to, to subscribe to, to this list if you want to be up to date to what's happening with, with Apache Bean. There's a little bit of traffic, but it's always a interesting interesting stuff and um, remember also that there is a twitter account that the uh, tweets normally the most interesting stuff uh, happening in apache bean and a youtube channel uh, the youtube ch channel let me open it here on the left so this is the on the right sorry not on the left this is the youtube channel of uh, of apache bean uh, there's also a youtube channel for the bean college okay so I mean, you're here, so you probably already know that. But don't miss the Apache Bean, uh, the Apache Bean uh, channel because there are lots of very interesting playlists. Like, for instance, it's one of the Bean Summits editions um, with the really interesting talks. I strongly encourage you to to have a look uh, at the at the different videos in the in the in the YouTube channel. Okay, so so far I have focused on people who have already some experience with Apache Bean, uh, reading the programming guide, the blog, whatever. If you're new to Apache Bean, so how did you start? We're going to have a session later focused on learning, but uh, let me make a quick preview of what's available here to, to start uh, doing your first steps with Apache Bean. So here you have the Get Started page, and you find lots of very interesting things. The Tour of Bean. So we will see it more in detail later. Um, the Tour of Bean is a set of exercises in different languages that you can use to learn how Apache Bean works, like to learn the API and so on. And you can run the examples live here in the, in the platform. More, more on this later. Uh, there is also the Bean Playground. Okay, so the difference, it's similar to it's similar to the to the Tour of Bean. It's a platform that you can use to run your um, Apache Bean code. The uh, Tour of Bean is more focused in a set of exercises to follow an itinerary to learn about Apache Bean. 
the blame being playground is literally this a playground where you can run anything let me just run this okay so to see well so let me see if this runs okay so for instance we get some metrics here we can try to change the code a little bit here like for instance this instead of no not reading um here instead of a uh, writing to test let let's do something like i don't know bin dot map print okay so you can change any code and run it again and now that should be slightly different hopefully if i did it correctly okay see here is the some of the words that are in the output and you also get get this um, uh, illustration of the of the graph of the of the of the job what can you run in the playground well for instance you could run some of the examples that you have here on the on the left side you have the java quick start the python quick start and the go quick start these quick starts are really interesting because they are using uh, one of the uh, resources that I like the most of Apache Win is these started projects. Okay, so whenever I have to start a new pipeline in Java, in Python, in whatever, I always uh, have to repeat the same steps. I make the same imports, I import the same dependencies, and so on. So here you have already like a scaffold to grab your Apache Bean pipeline, included some unit testing and so on. So it's really handy to, to start your new, your, a new project. And the quick start is actually based now in this, in this starter projects. And there are starter projects for Java, for Python, for Go, and for other languages. And then you have also the examples here, the uh, work count, for instance, in Python, the sam example that we ran uh, before, okay, and how to run it. You could also run it in the playground, but in case you want to run it uh, uh, locally, or if you want to run it in Dataflow or in Flink, okay, it's really so you have all the details here. Um, another thing that I want to highlight here is the language-specific uh, data, uh, language-specific documentation. Sorry. Um, so, for instance, whenever I'm working with uh, the Python API. So uh, sometimes I have to go here and uh, consult the reference uh, uh, documentation of the API. Um, and um, also um, interesting stuff that you find here, for instance, this um, page about doing machine learning with Apache Bean. I think Apache Bean is becoming a standard for inference pipelines uh, in a streaming or in batch, uh, because it's really easy and uh, a pleasure to do inference with with the new run inference um, transform that is available in in Apache Bean, and that uh, works uh, in in a very efficient way, reusing the same uh, model across different workers and so on. So, and you don't have to worry about anything like that. It's already it's already done for you. Um, and another thing that I like a lot is the data frames. Okay, so for instance, you have here some um, documentation about data frames and you can also run it in collab and so on so so have a look at this and the last thing i wanted to mention there is more documentation like the io connectors and everything the last thing that i wanted to mention is this the transfer catalog okay and the common Python, the almost the last thing also the common line pipeline patterns let me let me go here the reference documentation of um, python java it, it's great it has all the details that I need when I'm using the, the API, but sometimes, uh, well, so you may miss um, having a, like a higher level picture of what can you do with Apache Bean. So here in the transform catalog, catalog you have all, uh, all the element-wise operations, like, I don't know, like a ML transform, for instance, okay? Um, you have all the uh, aggregations, I don't know, uh, how to calculate the mean of a series of numbers, okay? And then, and you have also here, for instance, an example in the playground. Let me run it. Let's see if it runs. Okay. Let me go down here. Okay. 2.5 is the average of this number. So it runs correctly. And the same for Java. Okay. So it's really, it's really, it's really handy. I don't know. Let's, let's see the count here. See another example in the playground. And you can just uh, change it. Okay. Uh, if you want to do exactly different, so uh, here we have uh, five elements. It's a count, so we have one, two, three, four, five. So it's correct, okay. And if we want to move to the playground to see the full example uh, behind this code, because this is kind of like a snippet of a larger code base, so we, well, we can also um, open it here, okay. So this is the full example with all the login and all that, 
okay so but here is like the most interesting part of the example and finally to finalize with uh, this uh, walkthrough through the web, uh, Bing website and um, all the articles are really interesting but uh, one resource that I keep coming back uh, very often is this common pipeline patterns for instance uh, you write a new pipeline and you have to decide how to create the pipeline options I never remember how to do that. I always forget it. But hopefully, I have here these examples. For instance, this is the way it's done in Java. This is the way it's done in Python. Okay. And, and then with a little bit of copy paste. So I normally uh, am able just to recreate uh, the options for, for my pipeline just using this pattern. And there are patterns for many different situations. And you can also contribute to, to these patterns, as, as we will see, as we will see now in a bit. So this was the walkthrough through the Bing website. Let me go back to the slides. Let's talk a little bit about contributing to, to Apache Bean. So the, in which ways can you contribute? In many different ways. Okay. So there is this page here, contribute in the, in the Bing website that contains a lot of details on how to contribute to, to, to the project. For instance, you can just participate and share ideas. Lots of people do this in the mailing list by providing um, issues or feature requests in, in GitHub uh, or filing back if you find one, uh, improving the documentation or even writing a blog post. Okay, so uh, if you want to make changes to the blog post or, or to the website, there's this contribution guide. Uh, it's generic for, for all the rep, I think. See, that includes all the details. Okay, and if, for instance, you want to make sometimes a quick um, change in one of the webs. Say that we have found a mistake in this web that we haven't, okay? But say we have, we find one and we want to update this web. We can just click here in this button and this the editing the website by anyone. It's really straightforward, okay? So here you can do the changes that you need to do and this will automatically create a pull request in the repo to contribute the change. So maintaining the website up to date it's really, it's very straightforward. If you find minor uh, um, amendments that, that uh, you need to do in the website, because um, every page that you see in the website will have this edit button and you are, anyone is invited to change the website to, to, to improve the, the website. If you see any kind of outdated information or inaccurate information or anything. So remember, the contribute page here with all the details uh, on how to contribute. Um, the edit button that anyone can use because this will be a pull request that will be reviewed by another person. It will not be published right away in the website. Okay, And the contributing guide uh, with all the details on how to uh, contribute to, to Apache Bean, including how to make a, a set up your local development environment um, in, order to, in order to run the code and to be able to do also code contributions, okay? But all kinds of contributions are welcome. Uh, blogs, uh, case studies, uh, success stories, uh, organizing meetups, and uh, maintaining just the web uh, up to date whenever you are uh, browsing the web and uh, editing it. Well, so um, I hope this um, uh, walkthrough was clear and it was uh, fruitful. Um, and I thank you all for your attention. And I hope um, that uh, you keep contributing to, to Apache Bean through the tools that we have seen today here.